Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan from MyiPhoneSource.com here. I'm going to show you a quick how-to video on how to make a full banner ad for your website using an application called Acorn. So Acorn is about $50 for, for Mac to buy it or you can get a 14-day free trial. I really like it. It's simple, easy to use. If you purchase the Mac Heist bundle a few years, few years back, then that's going to be part of that bundle uh, that you'll be able to download that for free. So check it out. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch it, Acorn, and it'll pull up here on our computer. Uh, I'm going to show, this is going to be a very basic how to make a full banner ad. So let's go in immediately to new image and we're going to do 468 by 60 and the resolution will be 72. We're going to do a transparent background. That way I can add my own background color to it. If you want to do like a, just a white or a bat black background, you can automatically click that and it'll put in a white or a black background. So let's go ahead and hit OK and that's going to pull up our new image here. I like pulling this out so I can see exactly what I'm working with. We're going to do a little gradient fill because I think they look nice. So we're going to come on over here to the splotches here, or the color selectors. We're going to do a light gray on this one. Okay. And I'm going to click this one. And I'm going to do just a little bit darker than the first one. So I don't know if it's showing up very well on the screen capture, but I've just got a little bit of uh, color difference here. I got lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. So we're going to click the gradient button which is already on but it's this button right here if you guys are not on it already. And for our background layer I'm just going to go ahead and drag simply straight straight down the center here. Okay so what you can see here is you got white right around here and then you got a little bit darker of a gray color right there. So that's going to be our background. Okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to just add some text to it right. So we're going to click the text icon. We're going to pick a, a text that we want. Um, you know, something simple like Arial, Arial Black. But you can do anything anything that you want. So let's go ahead and type in Arial. And I'm going to type right in the center here. And it's going to be myiphonesource.com. Okay. Now that you've got our text layer here, it's going to autom automatically add it to a new layer. And you can actually drag, move it around, do what you got to do. So let's center it somewhat like this okay now I can actually go back to the text and I can change the font size so let's say we want 36 but that's gonna take it out of proportion here so let's go back down to 18 and let's go ahead and drag this so you can see it okay we're gonna have to actually re you know move this again that way it's back to being centered and let's undo that background change there okay so now it's centered but you know, maybe I want to put it over here because I want to put something else over on this side. So let's select this, make sure we're selected on the text. I'm going to change it to bold. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And I'm actually going to change the color of it to like just a little bit darker there. So I did that by clicking this bottom splotch because that's what the color is selected on. And then I just moved the hue down to what I want. Okay, so now I'm going to do a new layer. So I'm going to hit this little button down here. And I'm going to take text, and I'm going to stick with Arial, but I'm not going to do bold. I'm going to do regular, and I'm going to knock the size down to 14. And I'm going to type right underneath here, iPhone news, reviews, and things you can use. How about that? What a quote. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to actually just drag it right underneath it, like so. Okay. Now, it, it didn't matter that we created the new layer uh, because the text automatically creates a new layer. Uh, so you can discard that old layer, not have to worry about using it. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that layer. Um, so basically right here, you can see we've got a very simple banner ad. And this is something that a lot of people will pay people to do, but it's so simple to do it. Uh, very easy, very easy to use. And it looks simple. It is simple. And, you know, you'll have a good time using it. So if you guys like these little simple tutorials, uh, let me know and I can start doing some more. I don't use the, the photo application that much, but I do know how to use it a little bit. So easy things like this. Don't have to pay somebody to do. You can make your own banner, banner ad and then export it. So I'm going to show you how to save it now. We're just going to go file. We're going to go save as. Okay. And we can go back here to the desktop. And I'm going to type in just banner ad. And we're going to do, change the format to JPEG. Make sure you do the best quality. That way the colors don't fade very much. Or Sometimes if you do least quality, the 
the text looks real pixelated and things like that. So we're going to save it. Uh, you you want to save it without layers because when you save anything as like a single image, you're going to lose your layers. So if you wanted to save it as something that you could go back and edit again, then you can actually save it as an Acorn file or, you know, if you use Photoshop, it's the equivalent of a PSD. So you can open up. You can see that we've got our banner ad saved to the desktop now. And you open it up, and there it is. So that's just a very simple video on how to do a banner ad. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me on the website, myiphonesource.com. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.